Hello everyone. Well, it's another cordless vacuum today, but a cordless with a difference. Instead of the traditional handheld stick type cordless cleaners, we've got a full sized cylinder or canister cleaner. This is a Hoover Synthesis Active Cordless and the recommended retail price of this particular machine is about £250, which isn't bad by cordless standards. I didn't pay 250 though, I paid £51 from eBay because it was a new other description. So basically it's unused, but for some reason the box had been opened. I have pre-opened this and checked it before showing you this video because I needed to check that it was okay. There is a slight fault with it, but I can live with that for £51. Okay. We've got the instructions and I've just, oh yes, I think there is a guarantee. I don't think I'll have a guarantee with this. When you buy off eBay, off uh, sellers that aren't a retailer, I think it's, uh, you take uh, you take it as read that they don't have a guarantee. So I've taken that risk and I saved myself nearly 200 pounds. This nozzle, I've, I've had this nozzle on various low energy Hoover cleaners and I don't like it. This is Hoover's Lab Series All Floors Expert Nozzle. This is the only main carpet and floor nozzle that comes with this machine. It's a rather unusual design of nozzle. It's got a little roller at the front with quite a lot of squeegees. It's not powered, it just moves back and forth as you move the nozzle. Then you've got two quite rigid squeegees either side of the suction inlet there. Two big wheels at the back and two smaller rollers at the front. And this uses a click fitting, very similar to sort of a Miele or a Sebo cleaner. And you've also got your parking bracket on the back. So that is the main nozzle you use on carpets and hard floors. Incidentally, this is a Witch Best Buy. One of the few Hoover products that's got a Best Buy from Witch in recent years. So, out comes the hose. Let's say that's about one and a half meters, maybe 1.8. The handle has a very thick, chunky rubber grip. It does feel quite solid. You can actually take the handle off if you want to, if you get a blockage in the handle, the hose comes off. You've got a suction relief valve to reduce the suction power. And there's also a built-in dusting brush. It's always on board when you want to use it. You just pivot it outwards and it clicks into position. And then you've got a fairly soft brush for dusting your lampshades, bookshelves, etc. Also here we have quite a hefty metal telescopic tube, again with the click fitting. There's a collar here that you have to pull down in order to extend the hose. So you can adjust it to suit your height or the height of the item you're cleaning. And of course when you want to store it away you can condense it right down to that. Now I have charged up the battery before I've made this video so we don't have to wait for the full charge. So this is the battery you get. You can either charge it out of the machine or you can charge it while it's inserted into the machine. You've also got a battery level indicator and a status button. So you press that, the lights are quite bright here. And now that's showing, hang on. It's showing three lights, I'm sure it should show four. I did fully charge it. I'm wondering if this battery is a little bit dodgy on this cleaner. Just wondering why it was so cheap. Well, it was on an auction. I mean, it started at 50 pounds and I won it for 51. That start 50 pounds was the starting bid. Anyway, this is where you plug the mains adapter, which you get, of course, included 
and as I said, charge the battery out of the cleaner like that or charge it in the cleaner. You just plug it in just the same. This is the bin. And it's a multi-cyclonic vacuum. This is basically a full-size cleaner. They do a mains pad version. It's exactly the same size. It's not any smaller. It's a full-sized canister vacuum. So it's got quite a large capacity bin, larger than you'd find on most cordless vacuums. And to empty it, there might be a slight bit of dust in this because I did check it, check it over. And uh, all the dust will fall out once you've pressed that. Everything comes apart on this as well, which is good. If you need to give it a full clean, you can take the cyclone unit off. If you see there, we've got a plus, um, sorry, a locked and an unlocked padlock. You just twist the top to the unlocked padlock side, and then you can remove the bin. And if you want to give the bin an occasional clean, you now have full access to the bin. If you want to give that a wipe out, if you do clean the bin or any of the associated parts, obviously make sure they're dry before reassembly. So now we've got access to the shroud. If any pet hairs have got caught around there, easy to remove, but the, the shroud also comes off. So that can be washed as well. You can submerge that in soapy water, rinse it. Again, make sure it's dry. And that's about as much as it will come apart, but any dust that's on inside this part, you can wipe with a damp cloth. In theory, you can unscrew these screws here if you need to give it a thorough clean, but that shouldn't be necessary for most people. So to reassemble, we just pop the, the mesh shroud back on, lock it in place, and then the bin, you just line up the arrows, there's an arrow just here on the top, where underneath multi-cyclonic. And you line that up with the unlocked padlock arrow, like that, and then you twist until it's locked in place, and then obviously close the flap at the bottom. So there's the bin. The handle forms the handle of the main cleaner as well, but it's also a handy handle for when you take the bin out to empty it into your waste bin. That's, that's a bit stiff. They always are when they're new. It did open the first time before, but it's playing up now. There we go. So that is the multi-cyclonic bin. Next is the cleaner itself. Well, before the cleaner, we've got some other small cleaning tools here. I can undo them. I don't think we get a separate dusting brush with this model, but then it doesn't need to have a separate one. It's got a built-in one. Very short and stubbly little crevice tool. You're not going to get in many nooks and crannies with that. Then you've got an upholstery tool with litter pickers to help pick up pet air. So that's for your upholstery, your curtains, your stair carpeting, etc. And you also get a little caddy which will hold it does actually hold three tools so if you have a spare one that fits you can actually put it on this but these all fit on somehow if you turn it if you turn it that way you can fit another tool on here and then the whole thing clips to the wand here's the cleaner itself out of the box Quite an unusual design. It's not exactly what I'd call a compact vacuum cleaner, but it is quite maneuverable thanks to two very large smooth running wheels at the back. And at the front, you've got a 360 degree swivel caster. You've also got a couple of bumpers either side. To, so if you're cleaning and they bash into the sides of walls or your furniture, it should give the cleaner and your furniture a little bit of protection. At the back of the cleaner here, to replace the mains lead that you'd normally expect to be coming out of this hole, this is where you slide in the battery. So it'll only go one way 
just here you can see the connectors and inside the cavity I don't know if we can quite see just this side at the bottom are the connectors that you need to line up so it goes in this way it takes a little bit of, of moving about and then you need to click it right that's clicked in place now the problem with mine and possibly why it was so cheap it is supposed to eject the battery when you press this button is supposed to pop out now it doesn't I have to give it a little bit of a hand with a screwdriver I just have to slightly lever it and then it does pop out but you know it was only 51 pounds instead of 250 so I'll live with that and as I said you can charge the battery inside the machine just by putting the lead into the hole there there are two filters on this cleaner a pre and post motor filter the pre motor filter is located behind this panel so just here we have a red button press that in this piece comes off and as you can see underneath we've got a washable filter which you can just remove like this and then you can clean that under running water squeeze it out give it a shake leave it to dry and then you can put it back in the machine the motor is located behind this grill it's got a nice seal all the way around so that's pre-motor the exhaust filter is located underneath i'll just pop that cover back that clicks in place and we can find the post motor filter here so you just remove the cover and then this pulls out and as you can see we've got a pleated HEPA style filter that is also washable and there are hints and tips printed on the bottom of the cleaner so once it's been cleaned obviously it has to be dry it just pushes back in it, all, it does seem very tight fitting so I think the exhaust air is probably going to be quite clean out of this machine there you go and the bin fits on the machine there's a little part here that sticks out and a little recess here you just basically line that up and then you push the cyclone unit back it doesn't really click but that is in place so now I can lift the machine using the handle and to empty the bin we press the red button at the back that says press and then the bin comes off so there we go pop that back on again lock it into place there we go the controls on the machine are pretty simple you just have a foot operated on off switch here and here we have the battery level indicator this indicator here shows the level of charge in the battery so obviously when the battery is fully charged all four lights will illuminate now I know the battery isn't fully charged so it's not going to illuminate what I found with this when I was giving it an initial test this indicator doesn't seem to correspond with the indicator on the battery so I did run it and it did run for quite a long time now the maximum run time of this according to Hoover is 30 minutes up to 30 minutes runtime but I think that's on minimum um, I found it's probably about 20 minutes 15 minutes so far when you're using it on full power but I'll have to check that thoroughly once I've used it a bit more so when you turn on the machine I've only got one bar showing on the battery so I will need to charge it but you can reduce the suction and of course the run you can increase the runtime by reducing the suction so when you turn it on you can press this minimum button and obviously that lowers the speed of the motor and increases the runtime okay so the hose fits into the inlet here goes this way up with the release button uppermost you just push it in and it should click and then of course you're ready to use the machine any of the small tools or in fact any of the tools will fit directly on the handle so that's obviously how you'd have it if you're vacuuming your upholstery or doing your stairs 
But of course for carpet and floor cleaning, you need to attach the wand. So you just line it up. Hang on, there's some extra packaging there that I didn't notice. There's a little plastic collar, so you just need to remove that. Don't think you won't be able to put it in. Right, once the plastic collar's removed, you will be able to click it into place. There we are, so that's clicked in and that, that stays where it is. That stays put until you press the release button. And then we can pop this nozzle, which I'm not keen on. Again, that will click into position. And then it's a matter of just adjusting the wand to suit your height. Well, that nozzle is a little bit hard to push on this carpet. Well, it's not hard to push, but it feels like it's just scraping on the carpet. It doesn't feel very good at all. But uh, I'll have to re reserve judgment until I've actually done some demonstration tests with it. It'll be interesting to see how well it copes on hard floors as well. But that's it for this video. It's just an unboxing and an introduction to this machine. I will be taking it for a test run. I will be making sure the battery is fully charged and discharged a few times so hopefully it will have its full capacity and then I'll measure how long it actually runs for on maximum power because I think you'll be using it on maximum all the time minimum I can't see you really using it much at all on minimum maybe for lightweight dusting using the attached dusting brush but for your carpets and floors you will need it on maximum because obviously it does not have the suction power of a full-sized mains powered cylinder also it doesn't have the advantage of rotating brushes that many cordless machines have so that's it for today if you have any comments or questions about this Hoover synthesis active cordless cleaner please comment below and stay tuned for the next video coming up very soon bye for now